Hi Capricorn, this is a sneak preview of 2019 and a rundown of rest of November 2018. Capricorn, right off the bat in 2019 or 5th or 6th of January, we have an eclipse in your sign. This is a solar eclipse. It's a brand new start. It's a new beginning, especially if you have any planets between 10 to 20 degree of Capricorn. So if you're a Capricorn sun born between 31st of December to 10th of January, this is a brand new start for you. And it's not a surprise. You know already what it is because last uh, last month in October, the full moon happened exactly at that degree. So you've got the messaging, you've got the official announcement, the official knowledge of what this new start is supposed to be. Especially if you are a um, if you are a Capricorn Sun, this is something related to your career. This is a new start in your career. Either you're starting a new job, or you're changing roles, or you're initiating something of your own, where you have more power, more authority, more title to some extent and it will come with its own share of hard work which you are known for you are ready for your innate capability to work hard is is ingrained in you so this is not something that will be alien to you that it will require work but what is sort of not clear at this stage is the exact roles and responsibility and the boundaries of this role because Saturn has not yet visited that degree and it will be coming for the first time in 29 years on around 5th or 6th of February. So the exact roles and responsibilities and the boundaries of this new job, new responsibility, new career start that you're having, the definition of it will come through only over over first few weeks of January um, all the way to February. And not just that, this will go through a couple of iterations because Saturn will go over this degree three times. So you'll be redefining that role probably on your terms because normally when Saturn is in our sign we are the authority who's redefining the roles and responsibilities and creating the boundaries and to some extent redefining how we are in that job um, over the course of 2019 we'll do another iteration in August and then another one in November so you'll go over the the roles and responsibility in one wave and then go over it again and again so there'll be three iterations in my view of the roles and responsibilities the do's and don'ts of that job if this is your own business then maybe the way and offering to your clients who uh, what is your branding what are you known uh, known for uh, what is sort of you know you, ha, what is your name in the world what is your legacy in the world will be redefined to some extent over the course of 2019 as you put the final touches to it but right off the bat you're having this new start and all all the new moons from October till January are happening around the degree of this new start so this is happening in phases in fact all the new moons from October all the way to Aries new moon around April will be happening around the degree of this eclipse so there will be different iterations to this new start which will happen all the way from October to mid uh, to around April of next year like last uh, last month in October, you sort of got an official announcement or an official knowledge or a firm knowledge that this new start is about to happen. Then in the month of November, the new moon is happening in your social houses. So you socialized this new start. You spoke to a couple of people either in your friend network or in your business network who are supposed to be your supporter to some extent to understand this new start, to get more inputs on this new start to get deeper into this new start and also to some extent maybe you travel or you try to experience what you want out of this new start what do i truly uh, what is my hopes and dreams that are coming out of this new start to some extent then in december uh, around the start of december new moon you'll sort of go inward because that's what we do just before our solar year just before our next one year cycle is about to start before capricorn season you'll start of go inward to figure out 
what do you need to close from your old cycle what do you need to let go what needs to be different in 2019 in you to make this new start a success so that is one of the key things that is happening and you're working brick by brick from now all the way to january to make this new start a success you're creating a foundation you're to some extent creating faith in this new start as well um and this is something which this new start over the course of 2019 will require some changes in how you are i spoke about it in the october video as well south node pluto and saturn for the first time since 15th century will be in your sign in 2019 in close proximity they will ask you to let go some way of being some way of being especially as an authority figure um, that you you sort of you you've developed some way of being as at work in your career in the way you are as an authority figure both in your personal life as well as in your professional life you take the lead it will ask you to let go some part of you some way of being in order to make this new start a success in order to also help you in your personal relationships to some extent it will sort of test you to to give up a little bit of control it's not about giving up uh, power it's not about giving up your title it's not about giving up working hard on it but it is giving permission to let somebody else for once to take care of you uh, let other people support you in this let other people come in and join you um, and nurture you in this new path that you're going uh, going towards because Capricorn of our generation are trying to create something unique uh, this is they have both the opportunity as well as well as the challenge right because North Node um, having ha sorry having South Node Pluto Saturn all of it in our sign in fact in January you'll be having five planets as well as South Node in your sign that's a lot of focus on creating a new you um, and 2019 is very critical for you in that sense in fact in 2020 jupiter will also be coming into your sign it will be expanding all that you're creating and blessing all that you're creating right now this new you so you need all the support you need all the resources possible in 2019 to make this happen to reach the next phase of your career to reach the next phase of your success you need to let people in and 2019 will teach you the art of creative delegation it will teach you the art of retain the power, retaining the control, retaining the title, but at the same time, letting other people who are your trusted partners nurture you, take care of you and help you and support you in this journey. So you sort of will have to take and learn to take um, a bit of step back to some extent to let other people pick up the slack to some extent bringing down your guard a little bit especially in your personal relationships to let your partner take care of you now whether this is your business partner or this is your uh, relationship partner this is your committed partner who you let uh, you know let let them take care of you it depends on your individual situation but this 2019 the key to success is to be okay to be a little bit vulnerable to let um let us approach these partnerships with with a little bit of a uh, more gentler approach letting our guard down and developing a gentler approach a, a bit of lenient approach to our partnerships whereby we are okay to take a step back from always being the leader in in a relationship always being the authority figure at home as well as at work which is tiring us out which is depleting our resources to some extent releasing control to some extent of the situation and letting uh, other help you but at the same time it will require you to give a lot of effort hard work will not go away because saturn is there saturn wants you to give and give and give to some extent with without any expectations in 2019 you have to give up and detach yourself to some extent and south node will help you detach from the outcome to some extent and let you give the give uh, give a lot of work a lot of hard work to this new start uh, so you can build something solid 
Saturn has a 29 year cycle. You're building something for very long time when Saturn is associated. So this new start is not fickle. This new start is coming with a very strong foundation that you're building. Um, this is something which is of course key what's happening but what I wanted to truly discuss in this video and why this is part of your November video is is the 21st of January eclipse the formation that is involved in 21st of January eclipse is getting initiated in November on 6th of November right in time with the uh, with the midterm elections in the US and I've been talking about it in October as well changes in how an authority figure is supposed to be we we are going to redefine that in 2019 that configuration initiated on 6th of uh, 6th of november as well uranus t squared north node and south node in november at the start of november and that aspect will continue to affect you all the way to 21st of january eclipse which is the second eclipse which is happening in 2019 and it is a total lunar eclipse so some culmination of an old issue culmination of an old a uh, theme is supposed to happen very very importantly in the first half of 2019 initiating from 21st of january 2019 and that aspect is already initiated uh, already got initiated in november but at the start of november this aspect was in fixed sign so it had a tendency to stay with the old versus going with the new what this aspect is asking you to do is leave an old way of being leave your old conditioning especially what you have been told from your family to some extent who you should be and establish a a balance between give and take in your relationships there is an imbalance that has been highlighted over the last year year and a half in your partnership that exists that is sort of depleting your resources north node in leo which initiated in may of 2017 and uh, is continued till november 2018 and that's where the eclipse of 2019 21st january 2019 eclipse is happening at north node in leo wanted to highlight without any doubt that there is an imbalance of give and take that exists in your partnership um, there are three imbalances that could exist and this is happening on the axis of resources so this is something that is depleting your innate resources it is depleting your um, inner uh, inner confidence your health uh, your uh, financial resources to some extent this imbalance that exists first could be in your business partnership mainly in your financial resources in a business partnership where you are sort of not rewarded not remunerated not uh, paid by your clients or by your business partner or by your sponsors as much as you are worth as much as you deserve as much as you are putting in the effort as much as your talents are of value you're not getting remunerated equivalent to that um, financial resource is key here uh, the imbalance in financial resources the second key thing that this access significa uh, signifies is imbalance in intimate relationships where you're not getting the intimacy you're not getting the depth you're not getting the commitment that you truly deserve from your partner in a committed relationship the third imbalance is the imbalance in health where there is some addictive habit or the diet uh, issue that is bringing out an imbalance in your health which would have shown up in form of a health issue either a reproductive organ issue or a hormonal issue or a nervous system issue which are which are three type of um, health issues that can come out because of imbalance um, in this axis that might have got highlighted over the last year that you could potentially have or you were seeing the initial signs of hormonal issue or initial signs of uh, onset of some kind of nervous issue um, that is coming about so some health issue came to light over the last one year year and a half which is because of imbalance in you doing too much for others versus taking care of yourself um, the, the underlying imbalance is always others versus you and that imbalance can no more exist and that's why uranus on 6th of 
uh, November dipped back in Aries for the last time in 84 years. Uranus in Aries will not show up um, uh, for the next 84 years. So from November to March when Uranus is in Aries, it wants to bring this axis to balance. It is squaring this axis. So this is sort of inevitable that this imbalance has to go one way or the other. Either you need to change something or something will change for you. Um, Uranus will go direct on 6th of January. Uh, till then it is sort of giving you internal epiphanies that this needs to be fixed this needs to be fixed we need to find a cure we need to find a, a resolution to this relationship we need to ask for what we truly deserve um, and the balance imbalance of give and take needs to needs to balance out from 6th of january when uranus goes direct this aspect will take a life of its own and will go with this with the speed of of the lightning speed that Uranus is known for. Uranus causes things with lightning speed. But Uranus wants you to be free of fear that is causing you to hesitate to remain stuck in old patterns. It wants to, the first thing that Uranus does is gives you freedom. It gives you resolution one way or the other. It does not like people sitting on the fence. It wants to take a decision with lightning speed and because it's meeting karmic nodes, this is sort of fated to some extent. The, the events that will be happening in January will be to some extent fated, which have to bring regeneration. They have to become psychological rebirth to some extent and healing to you so you can perform the way you should in 2019. Because 2019 Capricorn is not just about you doing something great for yourself. Uh, you are a fixed, uh, you are a earth sign. Earth signs contribute to society in a material way. Um, so this aspect wants to regenerate you so you can meaningfully contribute to the society um, to some extent. Uranus in Aries essentially wants to cut the cord. It wants to cut the cord from your foundation, from old way of being, from a place where you're comfortable, a place where you're stuck to some extent because of the way you've been told from the time um, of your childhood on how you should be so it wants to separate you to some extent from your upbringing from from what is familiar what feels safe what feels comfortable it wants you to take a bold step it wants you to take a cardinal step it's a cardinal sign like you aries is a bold cardinal sign like yourself and it wants you to take a bit of a impulsive even um, step to break out of the old and step into a situation which is more balanced more fair to you because imbalances on this axis always always show up in form of diseases so it wants you to be free of getting born uh, of being in bondage essentially whether it is an addict addictive relationship where you're stuck but you're not getting your fair share or it is an old situation you're not letting go or it is a financial situation where you're not asking for what you truly deserve. Um, it wants to resolve it one way or the other. Or an addictive habit, a health habit that you're not letting go. That is obviously causing you health issue. Or a very unique way of healing. Uh, Uranus brings about healing in unique ways. Uh, usually related to acupuncture or certain um, non non-traditional uh, medicine essentially uh, it wants you to try some uh, obviously under a doctor's supervision uh, under certified supervision it wants you to try some untraditional way of healing methods that could help you recover from a health issue that has come up so this was uh, something new i have not talked about it in the past videos because it's come up now in november that this aspect has started and this will definitely color the first half of 2019 for you the other change that is happening in november on 8th of november jupiter moved into sagittarius and it will stay there till 2nd of december 2019 this is hope and faith jupiter in sagittarius is hope and faith and jupiter is uh, ruled sagittarius so it is in its own sign so it's very very potent uh, jupiter in sagittarius to me is like the uh, like chanting of om 
um in uh, if you are from south asia or you practice yoga you might have heard the chanting of om which essentially is calling to higher power within us or it is calling if you believe in god calling to god calling to higher power calling to your own will power to support you in this new journey this is hope and faith being recalled and i very much encourage during jupiter in 12th house cycle of 2019 to initiate a spiritual practice you need to base yourself you need faith south node pluto and and uh, saturn together in your sign have a have a uh, pattern of dissolving ego because it is sort of disintegrating you to recreate you it's creating a new brand a new personal power of you you're creating your own brand of personal power and in that it will first it obviously disintegrates the old ego the old self and it it can be it can feel a little bit like unsupported it might it can feel uh, uprooting to some extent you might feel uprooted to some extent because this is new you uh, what do you base your faith on when that's happening um because you are being asked to be devoid of ego during this cycle and you're being asked to give selflessly during this cycle so jupiter is what brings you faith in this uh, in the cycle so a spiritual protection a spiritual uh, practice i'm not encouraging any religion um a spiritual practice of any sort which involves self care that involves taking care of yourself your spiritual self and your uh, mental uh, peace essentially that is very will come very very important to you and you'll see yourself uh, sort of getting there in november december because mercury is in that area and is going retrograde so you'll be thinking about getting into yoga getting into a spiritual practice doing something a self care regime that supports you in 2019 whether it is sort of setting up i don't know a massage for for an hour every every week or every two weeks some some sort of regular self care which replenishes you is very much required in 2019 to stay healthy um also this uh, jupiter in 12th it sort of creates a illumination of in a in a life it illuminates what is your undoing what is holding you back what are the self destructive tendencies to some to, to some extent which you may have and it helps you get rid of them it gives you the opportunity to get rid of some of the things which are your undoing as they call this is the house of undoing so awareness of what sort of holding you back whether it is people or habits that is made amply clear with jupiter and it gives you the opportunity to release you the third thing that jupiter does is it it is sort of a hidden hand of support whether it is your own faith your own will power that he- that is helping you or it is an actual person a guardian angel to some extent a person uh, of authority or a person somebody behind the scene who's supporting you during this cycle you'll feel this protection this support and this cycle coming through head and hand in 2019 which is excellent we needed and it is happening when jupiter is in sagittarius and hence it manifests very very potently um it is also a cycle which encourages you to give and get rid of uh, unwanted things donate them uh, especially in november december it is a uh, it is a season of giving um, and so giving away some of the things or just doing some amount of charity or getting involved in some charity practice um is very much encouraged um, but i would specifically in november december i'll i'll encourage you to go on some sort of retreat renew yourself you have to replenish yourself before five planets enter your sign in january there'll be five planets right off the bat in january in your sign including south node that is a lot of um focus on you there's a lot of focus on recreating you creating a completely new way of being um 2019 is very significant for you you need to replenish your resources you need to replenish your health you need to sort of retreat a little bit and with that i'll get into the rest of november because that's what is the focus of rest of november 
So as we enter the second half of November, you you are through a very busy and social time. Sun is in your social network, so you're sort of forging some new friendships, new networks. You're busy meeting people. Uh, Mars is in third house, so you 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 are in a high communication phase. Uh, you're discussing a lot of things with people. Day to day communication is at its peak, um, and you you're talking and and making uh, making new plans. You're sort of full of of ideas and plans at this stage um mars especially when it went into pisces on 15th of november this a uh, communication area has got suddenly charged up uh, you get very assertive in your speech and till the end of the year mars will be in your house of communication so there'll be a lot of uh, information gathering that will be happening whether it is about your new start or you're just trying to get more familiar with your environment figuring out certain new things certain new pieces of information coming to light you're busy and putting your energy into that while that is happening mercury that rules our communication mercury that rules our intelligent mind and the way we express ourselves verbally and through written mode goes retrograde and it will be retrograde till 6th of december so from 16th of november to 6th of december the chances of words not coming out as you intend them to be is higher Mercury in Sagittarius is itself called a uh, called a, a foot and mouth kind of an aspect, uh, and uh, combine that with Mercury going retrograde, there are chances of saying things that you don't truly mean uh, to some extent, or things that you don't want to come out to some extent out of your mouth. So just be careful in terms of watching what you speak, especially during this week, um, 18th, 20th, 22nd, 19th, 20th, 22nd, 21st. These are the dates when Mars is meeting Jupiter. So there is a tendency to go overboard to some extent during this time, not just you, people outside you could go overboard a little bit so just be careful in terms of wrong things coming out uh, in terms of your business communication day-to-day -day work communication pay attention to that just check your emails a couple of times before sending if you have a travel schedule just remain flexible from 16th of november to 6th of december if you have a travel plan just stay flexible or don't plan it too tight because there's a possibility of uh, uh, things not working out on schedule at this time mercury retrograde is happens three times a year so it's not that disruptive it's just that we need to keep in mind that the modes of communication and travel don't work as they should during mercury retrograde but it is a great time to give yourself a mental downtime to figure out the details of something that you have not so far it is a great time to collect information not to publish them but sort of read a lot even go to some extent in solitude because for you mercury is going retrograde retrograde in the 12th house which is sort of the house where we go to figure out how the year went how did it all go what did i sort of did right or wrong what do i need to do differently in 2019 it is a great a uh, period to start a sort of a meditation practice a solitude practice where you sort of give yourself some time to think because uh, mercury retrograde in 12th house screams for mental silence uh, it's like you are asking for mental silence in a very busy period so giving yourself some solitude um during the next couple of three weeks essentially is very very essential for you and then mercury will again uh come back to this area uh from 12th of december to 4th of january when it is direct i would suggest you to um and you might have already planned for it a uh, take a trip it's uh, it's it's an aspect to travel a little bit far off and a travel that will mean a lot to you in terms of self discovery in terms of figuring out getting clarity of mind uh, sort of figuring out what what has been hiding from you your own inner world that might have been hiding from you that you need to resolve it it will give you the the private time that you need with your loved one and with yourself to get get your reserves back in order so you can be ready for january when there are right off the bat five planets in your sign and south node in your fine in your sign 
So that is Mercury retrograde. Uh, it's the time to release, recharge, uh, leave some of the things behind and you have already sown the seeds. So it is the time to take a little bit of step back and let them grow and see them sprout in January. Um, and apart from that, uh, the the beautiful thing is Venus goes direct. Uh, Venus went direct on, on the same day on 16th of November when Mercury went retrograde. Venus has been retrograde since October and what it might have caused for you is a deeper evaluation of your work relationships. It might have even caused to some extent friction in your network, in your business network and in your work network to some extent which might have come up and, and, the, un, and the uneasiness in the day-to-day -day interactions to some extent with your co-workers might have come about as a result of Venus being retrograde. That resolved uh, some sort of issue at work in your work project might resolve especially if you have any planets between 25 to 30 degree of Capricorn so if you're a n degree Capricorn which means you in terms of your Capricorn Sun if you're born between 16th of Jan to 21st of Jan you should see some work project resolve itself over the course of next two weeks especially if you have been looking to um, maybe ask for more financial you know more promotion or or money to some extent come across especially if you're born between 16th of jan to 21st of jan the chances of that promotion coming through or you having a productive discussion about the remuneration uh, it, there's a very high possibility of that happening uh, there any reconsideration that you've been having on career um, if you have been having second thoughts in terms of whether the career you are on or the projects that you're working on, whether they are truly making you happy or not, do you love what you do? That will resolve itself. It's uh, Venus going direct in your 10th house of career is like love for work coming back. Uh, if you were having doubts in terms of whether I love what I do or not, that would resolve one way or the other, especially at the end of the month because Venus will be meeting Uranus. So you'll be taking the requisite actions to bring the joy back in your work life, to bring this friction at work to an end as well. And uh, that will sort of be done with a swift action because you've thought about it, you've discussed it quite a lot. Venus has made a lot of aspects in the last two months. So that work related issue will finally come to a resolution. You can look back maybe at 2010 when at the end of 2010 venus went retrograde in the same area for you um, and what were the changes at work you brought about in 2011 uh, if you recall what what changed in you as a person in terms of your job in 2011 in terms of your work relationships that is a kind of change that you might bring about this is very much also about your work image how do you come across uh, what do you wear to work what is the attire you wear to work now is a great time over the next two weeks to go shopping for work attire uh, there's going to be Black Friday sale. It's a good time to take advantage of that. Go shopping, refresh your work wardrobe uh, around this time or the social look uh, at this time. It definitely would have affected your social life. You'll see some life and harmony and joy come back in your social life with Venus going direct. And we should hopefully see that in the diplomatic relationship across the world as well because Venus rules all relationships, diplomacy as well at global or geopolitical level uh, we saw Venus going direct at a point when the uh, leaders of uh, nations across the world were coming together to celebrate the end of World War uh, 100 years of end of World War One, and that is how to some extent Venus going direct feels like it feels like uh, the war and the relationships coming to an end to some extent and it's going direct in a very harmonious sign Libra is where Venus is happiest so it will bring back some harmony some diplomacy back especially in your work relationship 
I'll encourage you to use this time up until 2nd of December to sort of resolve any work issues and also resolve uh, if there is any issue regarding your pay renegotiation of a pay or a contract with respect to your work or with a client um, essentially um, till about 2nd of December especially if you have any planets between 25 degree to 30 degree Capricorn or if you're born between 16th of Jan to 21st of Jan I'll encourage you to do that. Apart from that, Mars has moved into Pisces on 15th of November. That is great for you because in this situation, Mars in your communication house is in positive aspect for you, with you. That gives you a lot of energy. It gives you a lot of encouragement in terms of going out of your comfort zone and doing some things. It will give you energy, uh, physical vitality to do a lot more, especially um, in November, December born Capricorns will see vitality improve a little bit. As the month goes by, with Mars being in their third house, it will give your words a lot more power. Uh, you'll feel that you are able to interact with your surroundings to some extent more. You'll be communicating more. You'll be gathering a lot of information. You have to be aware that Mercury that rules our communication is retrograde. So just be careful. Watch out for the words. Uh, strategize your words before they come out to some extent. Just be careful in terms of not having inadvertently some miscommunication happen in your day-to-day -day life with your co-workers. But this is excellent in terms of formulating new ideas, formulating new plans, figuring out what you want to do in 2019. As well as if you have a specific branding exercise or a media project that is going on, uh, collecting information for that and gathering some amount of skill required to effectively deliver this uh, media project, it's an excellent time to work on that. Just be careful on 18th, 19th, 21st, 22nd. So around this week, be careful in terms of going over the top and over promising to some extent on some communication project or some commercial project. If you're having a discussion with a client, especially around 19th, 20th, 21st of this month, just be careful to not over promise a little bit because you feel very confident in terms of going about and saying things and the speech might be quicker than what you would normally have and it can get a little bit over the top in terms of over promising it's a very daring aspect it's a courageous aspect it can help you uh, effectively get through some of the work that has been stuck but it can get a little bit over the top and you might take on more than you had thought you are and it can burn you out a little bit. So just be careful in terms of not over promising or being a little bit impatient or impulsive at that time. And you will see the people around you also a little bit over the top energy will be there. Uh, even with your siblings in terms of any communication with your sibling, don't over promise anything um, or don't have exaggerated talk. Let, let it be a little bit grounded to some extent. Uh, be careful in terms of any small nicks and cuts on your hand because Mars is, represents uh, cuts to some extent. So just minor paper cut or something, you know, just be careful in terms of cutting in kitchen, etc careful with your hands at that at this time but it's great for idea generation it's great for information gathering all the way till 31st of december you have this but specifically in the month of november the december born capricorn or early degree capricorn will see some amount of vitality come back into their life then on 22nd of November, we have Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, it, this is the time when Sun, Jupiter, Mercury, three planets are there in Sagittarius. It's a month before your solar year starts. So you're sort of bringing the last one year to closure. You're looking at the last year. You're analyzing the last year. You want to go into private. You want to spend some time in solitude. You want to spend some time on self-care, spirituality. It's the season of giving. You want to give something to people. You want to have engage in some charity uh, this is a time to sort of come come completing the last cycle right but um for you on 23rd of november when you want to sort of bring everything to closure there is a full moon that is happening in your day-to-day -day routines this is the routine at work and health so something in this area of your life would would require your attention uh, if it is a work project that requires your attention 
it looks like a work project with a uh, which is happening at the degree of discovery so there might be something new a new fact a new aspect that is coming to light on a work project which requires your attention to bring it to closure over the next 10 years so from 23rd of november to the start of december you might need to engage with your co-workers you might need to find some resolution in terms of even conflict with the co-worker because mars is squaring this full moon there might be a compromise in terms of difference in opinion with a co-worker that might be required to bring this project to closure if it is a health matter uh, because this could very well be a day-to-day -day routine issue in terms of your house of health so if there's a health matter that is coming to attention right about now now it could be a, an area of nervous system or a hormonal issue uh, specifically thyroid gland can get irritated by mars uh, or a respiratory system so this is this might be a small health routine that requires your attention uh, this is a great time to start a new health routine when a full moon happens in a house of uh, health routines that is the time when people sort of uh, decide i need to do um, i need to start this sort of self-care routine so uh, this full moon is an excellent time uh, give it a day or two to initiate something new um, in terms of your health routine which will bring to maybe a uh, unknown uh, discovered problem which is developing in terms of health to closure uh, this is uh, this is happening with a little bit of difficult aspect because mars is squaring it so mars wants to speed up the culmination um, and in the process it might lead to some difference in opinion with your co-worker or with your immediate environment and it might create a little bit of friction and irritation or inflammation in the process um, but it's something that that will in my view resolve very fast because on 27th of november itself mars is meeting saturn which means a disciplined action so either you have a very productive discussion with the co-worker right two or three days after that or you have a, a sort of a health routine figured out to address uh, to make sure that the gap in the health routine is not there anymore 26th of november is the best day of this year it is supposed to be the year when uh, when sun and jupiter are meeting each other and then on 27th of november sun mercury and jupiter all three of them are meeting each other this is positivity this is hope this is faith this is you knowing that you'll be having a fabulous end of the year and start of 2019 um, this is great time to have a negotiation sort of bring some um, some matter to closure if there is any issue that might have come up in terms of your relationships in terms of friction that might have come up 27th of november is an excellent day to reconcile it's an excellent day to renegotiate it's an excellent day to sort of put something to bed put an old cycle to bed so you can move to the new one then um, around that time venus starts having a, a grand square with north node and uranus this is a cardinal grand cross which is forming uh, between venus and uranus this is about your work life as i mentioned in the venus retrograde portion that venus has gone direct now is the time to resolve if there is a work uh, work issue or you not loving what you do if there's a if there's a feeling that has developed very strongly that there's something in terms of the project that you're working on or the co-worker that you're working on or the authority figure that you're working on and that's not working out anymore this is the time to sort of get on one side or the other and resolve it it's very very directional this is a grand um, grand cardinal square so it it sort of seeks an action it wants you to act on it and um, it, it it would need some amount of compromise it is coming with a little bit of impulse internal in, impulse to sort of assert yourself to you know you have to decide do you want to go along with it or not and in my view you will take a decision in light with with taking care of your interest because you have realized what makes you happy or not in the particular work situation and to some extent the events at the end of the month in your um, in your work relationship is karmic because north node and south node are involved so to some extent this situation is very fated 
and it has to resolve one way or the other by the end of the month um it's very much being driven by impulse and you need to be free to some extent so if there is a authority figure which is not letting you be free in terms of having full creative authority in what you do there's a chances of parting ways with that authority figure in one way or the other but a t square usually requires compromise it requires a compromise to reach at a solution um and north node is in your partnership sector so there is a tendency to sort of make this work especially venus in libra wants to make it work make a partnership work which is fine just remember the lesson of venus retrograde of not compromising your interests remember what i talked about at the start of the video about the imbalance of how much are you doing and how much are you getting in return that balance needs to be restored keep that in mind keep your interest in mind there is nothing wrong in using diplomacy there is nothing wrong in in reaching a compromise with the authority figure at this time but don't compromise your interests at this time don't compromise taking care of yourself at this time thank you so much and i'll see you in december when we'll talk about the two eclipses that are happening in january in more detail because they'll start showing up in december itself in full form so i'll talk to you soon thank you